Hi, my name is Donica Burdick and I'm the current ultrasound fellow here at UCSD and today I'll be teaching you how to do a DVT ultrasound scan. So I have a patient here who has leg pain and I just wanted to confirm with you, is it okay that we um, submit this video online of doing this ultrasound for educational purposes? Mm -hmm. it, it's okay? Mm -hmm. uh, okay. So again, since this is a superficial um, structure, you'll start off using the linear probe. You're going to have the marker dot always pointed towards the patient's right. And so we'll want to look initially, oh, we'll have to turn off the lights, where the saphenous vein is coming into the common femoral. What you want to do is you want to see when you apply pressure, that femoral vein completely collapse. Let's take another image. So we're applying pressure, and you can see that the femoral vein collapses, but the artery stays patent. We'll scan down a couple more centimeters, looking again at the, the femoral vein. We'll apply pressure and make sure that we see collapsing, complete occlusion of the femoral vein. So after we've taken a couple images, we'll go ahead and move on to the popliteal area. So we'll go behind the knee. We'll have you extend your leg a little bit, yep, just like that. This is what the technician did to me, wasn't Yeah. It? All right. We'll try to find. Now, in the popliteal fossa, you're going to have the popliteal vein on top of the popliteal artery. Again, we're going to compress and make sure that we have complete compression of the popliteal vein. I'll try one more. So again, the popliteal vein and the popliteal artery. Compress, and we see that we get full collapse of the vein. We'll scan down just a little bit to where we see the bifurcation of the popliteal vein. And we'll compress again. As you can see that the artery is staying patent. And that's it.